So this message is uh, to all my fellow ESO players. I guess for the longest now, ESO has been having issues. And often when I talk about why, whether or not you should be playing ESO and people who complain about the lag and the poor performance of the game, and typically the reply that I get is, you know, well, there's nothing else to play. Especially like if you're a console player, people are like, well, you know, there's, there's no other MMOs to play. Or people are like, well, where I don't know where to go to. Like, well, I don't know what else to play. What else should I be doing? Especially if you're a young person. I mean, talking about my experience growing up as a young person, at the age of 14, I started, I had my first real job. During that time, I was putting in probably in the area of, I'd say between 40 and sometimes I put in 60 hours a week. I was, I was pretty much into basketball as a kid, spent a lot of time playing, playing in different leagues. And it's typically what I did. I spent a lot of my time working and a lot of my time on the basketball court. Really didn't spend a lot of time uh, playing video games. In my advice, if you're not working, it might be a good, it might be a good time to think about starting, starting a career, maybe making your own career, whether you're interested in streaming or blogging or creating a YouTube. Now is the perfect time. I mean, it's the easiest time to do it now, especially with the country locked down. A lot of people are out of work. The work environments that are going to be moving forward are probably going to change. You're seeing, right, they're talking about more people working from home that traditionally worked maybe in an office, and now they're able to work from home. Certain businesses are doing better than others, where, you know, bars and restaurants are typically are not doing um, as well as, like, for example, things that are focusing on takeout where we're seeing stores and malls that are closed and we're seeing things like Amazon doing very well because they focus on a particular uh, form of service that, of course, in this particular time is working very well. American companies like Ford, for example, that had maybe done well in the past are not doing very well currently in the present and you're seeing things like Elon Musk and Tesla are taking off. So if you're a young person, maybe video gaming isn't the best thing for you to be doing right now. Maybe the best thing that you could be doing is acquiring a skill, uh, maybe getting a job. First job that I had at the age of 14, I was working off the books. Uh, I worked for a swimming pool company. I was basically the pool boy. I did everything. I did stock. I did uh, working the, the front counter, register, working with customers, going out, uh, being basically being an assistant um, for the technicians, right? Because we did installations and openings, closings, etc. We did everything related to pools, and I basically learned everything during that during those early years, where I was 14, 15, and 16. I know some people nowadays, especially with my recent, especially with my few recent posts regarding accountability and you know the Super Smash, and people are saying, well, you know, the individual is only 14. He's just a kid. He doesn't know any better. At 14, I was already out there working hard, looking to create my own business, which I created my first business at the age of 17. At the age of 17, I started my own business that I branched off of the job that I had at 14, learning a trade, which was learning everything I could within three years about swimming pools, and then starting my own business at the age of 17 that I carried on into my mid-30s before, of course, um, going more into healthcare and into finance. So for those people who are look, thinking of what is it that I should be doing right now? Because maybe I don't have a particular game that I'm really interested in. Maybe gaming isn't something that you should be doing right now. Maybe you should be exercising more or picking up a, or picking up a particular skill that you can utilize during this time when you're young and then etching out a niche somewhere uh, in the market that you can create a business for yourself even at a young age. You might think, well, I'm, all, I'm a young person. I'm 14, I'm 15, 16. I really, uh, I might not, I don't have any education. I don't really have a skill. Well, you can go out and find one. You can find a skill. See if there's someone who's willing to take you on, uh, kind of like in an apprentice role. And by the time you're 17, 18, 19, you can literally save up your money and start a, and start a small business while you're still, of course, working for an individual. This is something I did again later on in life when I was in my 30s. I wanted to jump back in um, after being a nurse and then now working towards my uh, my nurse practitioner's license. Now it's something that, I'm, that I did back in 2017. Back in 2017, I decided I wanted to jump back in to having my own business. So I created a concierge service here in Manhattan for individuals who are looking for private aid home care. 
Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, I couldn't afford to keep uh, to keep many of these individuals on because it was expensive. It was more liable. There was more liability insurance that I had to pay because of obviously the pandemic. It was hard to acquire the necessary PPE, especially things like masks um, that, of course, private aides would need. I decided to put it on hold until either a vaccine comes out or decide to go in a different route. That would be my advice to you. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be, you know, the next game that you can jump into that you can that you can put your time into. Maybe you can utilize that time for something better, something that you're going to be able to use in your future, especially as you're starting to get older, you'll be able to be able to be more independent. It'll also change the way you think um, and learning to be more of an adult, being more of a man and going out and basically blazing your own chair, blazing your own trail, starting your own business. Um, in something that you might be interested in. Of course, the, to be able to do that, you have to first acquire some sort of a skill. You have to acquire work ethic. You have to be skillful and you have to be good at what you do so that people will take you seriously, especially when you're young, especially if you're young and you're trying to trying to branch out and start your own business. You want to be as knowledgeable as possible so that it overcomes the how young you look as an individual. People, are, people tend to tend to take uh, young people less serious because they think they're not, you know, they're not serious. They don't have a great work ethic. You know, they might think that young people are lazy, especially if you're looking at it from my generation to the generation that exists kind of now, it seems rather soft. I see a lot of young men who are unfortunately very caught up with their feelings instead of uh, being a, a individual who was working towards being an independent and being an, an adult um, and showing levels of maturity. I see a lot less of that when I when I look out in the world. I see a lot less young people who are looking to be mature individuals. We're seeing people that are literally getting triggered by statues and t- tearing down statues, burning down neighborhoods. These are not signs of mature individuals. These are signs of immature individuals that were pampered during their youth, and unfortunately, it carries on into adulthood. For those who are young. Pay attention to what's going on nowadays, where you're seeing a lot of people with a very entitled mentality, the you know no real desire to put in hard work. Individuals feel that they're owed something. No one has ever owed anything. I never thought that way as a young person. I did not grow up um, rather wealthy. At the age of about 13, 14, I started paying for my own things. I I I depended less upon my family. I paid for my own clothing, for my own sneakers. When I wanted back to school clothes. I went out and I worked for them because I already had a job. I already had a skill. And so I put that to work for myself as an individual. And I never stopped doing that even now at the at the age of 40, where again, I'm right back into um, wanting to, you know, creating, creating my own income, working at uh, expanding my desire with my business. And of course, eventually working and thinking about early retirement, which is something I would recommend for you as a young person. If you're a young person, try to require a skill as early as possible so that you're able to get those years of training and experience under your belt so that you can then move forward into branching out and creating maybe a side hustle or a side business while you still have basically an income coming from the job that you work with, which is basically what I do. I stay working in the hospital setting so that I can get the critical care experience because I'm a critical care nurse. And I keep and I stay in that field one because it still pays. I still pay very well. I get holidays and full coverage for insurance and a pension. There's no reason to leave that. It's like a two hundred and fifty thousand plus package. No reason to leave that experience. No, no reason to leave that environment, despite having and starting my own business. Of course, that may be something that you may want to do into the future. But it's sometimes it's good to have a little bit of a cushion to work with until you're ready to move on and branch out completely on your own. I had done it for many years and the independence I did not value as a young person, particularly because I really didn't like blue collar work. I wasn't I really didn't see myself as an individual that young, basically working with my hands. Now, when I was in my 30s, I wish I had someone to tell me that I was making a mistake, that having an having your business and being able to set your own hours, to set your own pace was something that was worthwhile. I didn't realize it until I was much later I was much uh, later in life when I was in my mid 30s and then wor- and having my first job working in a hospital as a critical care nurse. And I realized a lot of the mistakes that and people were doing, a lot of the business tips that I learned from 
a lot of the business tips that I learned as a young individual when uh, from my first from my first boss he was an Italian business owner he had been in business for 30 years I mean he taught me a lot of the principles about uh, overhead pricing uh, learning to be the number one in whatever particular field that you're looking uh, to create a business in you want to have the mentality that you want to be number one makes it much easier dealing with people and of course it allows you the individual to basically say i want to work with this person but i don't want to work with this person when you work for a company you may come in contact with individuals that you may not in particularly want to work with but unfortunately because you work for the company you can't say no i don't want you as a customer because the business owner is the one who makes that who is the one who makes that decision not you the employee but when you're even when you're a young person and you have the ability to say, I'm really not interested in working with an individual for whatever reason, maybe the person is going to be a pain in the ass and you don't want to sit there and have to deal with this person's BS. What my, what my original boss taught me was price them out of the market. If this person is really difficult, you really don't want to work with them, charge them more money, charge them a, a percentage higher for having to deal with their BS. Either they'll leave you alone and walk away and go somewhere else. Or you'll end up earning extra money and you'll have to just deal with the BS for the sake of the added extra income that you're going to receive. Like I said, my advice for a lot of you young people who are still who are play, who are ESO or if you're a video game, I've always been interested in video games even till this day. If for whatever reason, the market, there isn't a game that you're terribly, that you're particularly interested in with, don't waste your time playing something that's broken. That isn't that, of course, isn't doing anything for you and isn't offering you anything of value. Try to find other areas where you can fill the niche that is missing within your life, primarily in trying to find a skill that you're going to be able to use for the rest of your life. And of course, something that's going to help you to be independent and mature that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.